The Atlanta City Council will meet next Monday for the first time in 2024, and they'll look to tackle public safety and short-term rental changes for the coming year. Yeah, but affordable housing remains a top concern in the city of Atlanta. As Joe Ripley reports, the city council plans to double down on plans to create more options for people to live and stay here. Come on, Sigma. There's nothing like a day at the dog park for Hodrick Lowe and his three-year-old Rottweiler. Lowe has called Atlanta home all his life. Because I've been home since I was a little boy and I don't seen it grow and I don't seen it change. You only got three neighbors that still live home from back in the day. You, you know, everybody else knew. Many of his friends and family who watched him grow up fell on hard times and had no home to go to. Sometimes people be in a situation because they choose to be in that situation. And some of them in a situation because they can't, can't do better and they can't get the help that they really need. So does the city low calls home have enough affordable housing? It ain't enough. It need to be more. 2023 saw millions invested in affordable housing initiatives in the city of Atlanta. For 2024, Atlanta City Council President Doug Shipman plans to double down. You'll continue to see us addressing homelessness issues, affordable housing issues, youth issues, and infrastructure issues. Shipman says 2024 brings with it new opportunities to break ground on new housing to convert existing homes into affordable ones and allow longtime residents to stay here. More housing is coming. Two, the council's actually invested in uh, uh, supporting folks who are facing evictions. Wednesday marks two years since Mayor Andre Dickens took office with a goal of the city creating or preserving 20,000 affordable housing units by 2030. In October, his office said it was 40 percent of the way toward reaching the mayor's goal. Shipman says in 2024, the council will look to capitalize on relationships with developers to create more affordable housing options and make the permitting and inspection processes smoother and quicker. Seymour, come on. It would be welcome news to Hodrick Lowe, whose home has been in the family for generations, and he'd like to keep it that way. In Atlanta, Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News.